like beautiful barnacles clinging to cliff sides with gorgeous views, we're going to show you some of the most ridiculous mansions ever built, or being built, on the side of cliffs. These mansions are designed for the people that want to live both literally and figuratively on the edge. Welcome to Beirut, Lebanon, where Casa Brutale is being built on this distinctive property off the face of Fakra Mountain at an altitude of 5,250 feet. Casa Brutale is a wacky but wonderful idea that is at the top of our list of ridiculous cliffside mansions. Back in 2015, these render design images went public and the internet ate them up. The Netherlands and Greece-based architecture firm OPA had chosen to tackle this cutting-edge project, but now the construction of Casa Brutale will be supervised by Laertes Antonius Ando Vassiliou Architects after OPA dissolved. Maybe they ran out of money considering the grandeur of this estate. LAV, as they like to be called now, announced that Casa Brutale will be built 150 meters below the peak of the mountain. Don't worry, I won't leave you with a cliffhanger on the price. It's costing $3.4 million to build. It was first designed to have a spectacular coastal view of the Aegean Sea, but will now take in views of the mountainous countryside. Any prospective owner of the Casa Brutale would need to have some serious cash and be someone with a very, very strong stomach. The cliffside mansion looks precarious to say the least, not to mention the threat of coastal erosion. Structurally, this home will be sound, however. Casa Brutale isn't exactly on the side of a cliff, it's mostly built inside the cliff, with the bones of the mansion being cast in cement. This place isn't going anywhere anytime soon, but don't worry about the bunker-like building materials. The design and amenities of this place are enough to justify the price tag. Just check out this pool. The water element of the pool gives it that extra edge and style. Just don't go skinny dipping unless you want to shock your dinner guests and show off what your mama gave you. The pool is completely exposed and above the living room, adding a 24-7 shimmering light effect to the walls and floors. Given the house's remote location and the pool cover made of polymer, privacy isn't a big deal. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms are tucked into the mezzanine level with a third bathroom and downstairs bathroom. It's all complete with an underground garage for up to three vehicles. Wood, glass, and concrete, a convergence of the surrounding earth and water, says the architects. Should be called Free Solo. It's definitely one of a kind. Why is it that Bond villains sometimes build their mansions on the sides of cliffs? Well, they need something cool looking, remote, state of the art, and well, crime sometimes pays so they can afford it. I bring up houses you might see in a Bond film because this one was actually in 1971's Diamonds Are Forever. You can actually watch Sean Connery be thrown into the mansion's pool after a fight with Blofeld's henchwomen. The $8 million Palm Springs residence was ordered by Arthur Elrod in 1968. By 1970, the Gatsby-like home was hosting stars such as Lucille Ball and Bob Hope. The radically chic house was excavated, but the rocks were kept in place. These rocks are part of the interior of the house and run straight through the walls and windows. The large circular concrete canopy really makes this mansion on a cliff stand out. Don't worry, you don't need to be thrown into the pool to enjoy a spectacular view of Palm Springs. You can't miss it. It's a one-of-a-kind Palm Springs property that has a head-turning cone-shaped roof, which features nine triangular wood panels and large windows surrounded by retractable walls of curved glass, which open to gorgeous views of the valley. Also, you may or may not, wink wink, recognize this house from Playboy. It was featured in the 2010 issue. Next up, we're staying in Cali. Welcome to the $30 million Razor Residence in La Jolla. This is Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats architectural masterpiece. When you're inside, you feel like you're suspended in the air. Just look at these fabulous views of the Pacific Ocean. It took five years to build. Designed by Wallace E. Cunningham, one of Architectural Digest's top 100 designers. 
behind large gates, you'll find this white polished concrete mansion. It has four to ceiling glass, obviously. Who would want to obstruct these incredible views of the ocean? The Razor was built high above Torrey Pine State Reserve on 11,000 square feet of property. It has four bedrooms and six bathrooms and boasts a two level guest house that most would be lucky to call their permanent residence. It has a six car underground garage and private access to Black Beach. Basically, this home is a piece of art with impeccable design, quality, and location, location, location. Let's head off to Thailand now to check out another cliffside mansion called Villa Amanzi. Even with party islands a quick boat ride away, this incredible property will make you want to stay home. It's known that the construction industry kind of hates building anything unusual unless you can pay, and pay well. Then your wacky ideas can go as deep as your pockets. It has a modern design and a tropical setting near Kamala Beach. It has six bedrooms that each enjoys panoramic sea views. The decor can be described as cutting edge elegance. It includes a 15 meter floating pool, expansive living and dining areas, jacuzzi, and a games room makes it perfect to host a party or guests. And you can rent it too for $1,500 per night. If you choose to do so, it includes the Thai hospitality of the villa staff. This award-winning architectural gem is the definition of an infinity pool. This Thai home features a top-level bedroom wing forming a bridge over the main part of the home. It has a modern kitchen, a barbecue area, high-tech lighting, and a sound system that you control with your phone. Located more specifically between Kamala and Batong Beach, Villa Amanzi is a six iron away from golf courses, beach clubs, yacht charters, shopping, and nightlife. The cliffside mansion oozes ease and elegance. Let's head off to Barcelona, shall we? Check out the X House, located in Cadaval Sola Morales, Spain. It was built in 2012 and is worth over $58 million. Just check out these views from the front and the rear of the house. You have unreal panoramics of the sea and mountains, but my favorite, no neighbors. The unique form took forever during the design process, but it was well worth it. Exposed concrete floors, white walls, and a living room that leads into an open plan kitchen and a bespoke seven meter long marble table. Complete with luxury monochrome furnishings, the whole kitchen is a chef's dream. The master bedroom has a dressing room that would make Gucci blush and a huge shower complete with hydro massage jets. The house has two stories, subfloor heating, an infinity pool, sauna, jacuzzi, luxury kitchen, decked terrace, barbecue area, and a two-car garage. The Mirage House, built on the Greek island of Tinos, is another cliffside mansion with a rooftop defined by its infinity pool. Designed by Athens Studio Koi Associated Architects, this stunning home could be, at first glance, actually mistaken for a mirage. This one floor building offers around 200 square meters of floor space and makes the rocky terrain look exquisite. It's on the southwest coastline of the Aegean Sea. It's tucked away in the side of this cliff to secure the ultimate privacy. Dry stone walls can be found all over the interior and they frame the grandiose entrance. This secluded mansion is complete with three bedrooms, a modern kitchen, and an outdoor living room. This is an absolute jaw dropper. Tinos Island has 40 picturesque villages, and if you're up for a creepy adventure, you can visit the dozens of abandoned windmills. Okay, it's time to grab your beach towel and head to the land down under. The Pole House is probably the most photographed home in the country. You can book it for 900 a night, but don't bother if you're afraid of heights. This neck-breaking 689 square foot pad is suspended 40 meters above Fairhaven Beach on, what else, a giant cement pole. It's one of Australia's most iconic homes and has recently been renovated, but it's not so much about the modern facilities or amenities. It only has one bathroom and one bedroom. 
The pole house is all about the uniqueness of the design and the view that will have you saying wow everywhere you turn. Just check out these spectacular coastline views. Built in Wisconsin in 1968, Shadow Cliff is a cliffside mansion built by architect Harry Weiss. The glass box sticks out above Lake Michigan and is suspended from cordon steel beams. Don't look down the glass floor porthole in the living room if you get woozy from heights. However, it does provide a breathtaking view of the forested limestone cliffside and shoreline below. Lights illuminate the scene after the sun sets across the lake. Part of a 30-acre estate in Wisconsin's Door County Peninsula, the interior is outfitted in teak by Palmer Johnson Yachts. Described as a place of calm and connection to the water and nature, but with the creature comforts of a yacht. Structurally sound too, however, Shadow Cliff was designed to withstand 90 mile per hour winds. There are so many cool little hidden gems in this cliffside home. Just check out this spiral staircase that leads up to the rooftop observation deck with panoramic lake vistas. Next, this boxy wooden house built in 2010 by Canadian studio McKay Leon Sweet Apple Architects is aptly called Cliff House. The 960 square foot rustic retreat extends over the edge of a rocky outcrop above the Atlantic coastline of Nova Scotia. Only a small part of the house actually makes contact with the ground as most of its body dangles precariously over the edge of the cliff, supported only by a crisscrossing arrangement of beams made of steel. This isn't your typical mansion on a cliff, as it was built to a tight budget. It's mostly steel and timber, which are left exposed throughout the interior. The main living room is spacious, and the dining room has windows on three sides of the cliché Canadian wood-burning stove. A modern bathroom and mezzanine bedroom is beautiful and, well, efficient. A massive south-facing deck clings to the cliff edge and allows for the perfect view of the sea and coastline. It's said that the architects intended the building to feel as though it were floating on the sea. Apparently, a Picasso painting inspired this next clifftop mansion near Sydney. The architects Durbach Block Jaggers created a masterpiece nonetheless called the Holman House. Just check out this kitchen and living room supported over the sea by four angled stilts inspired from the torso of Picasso's The Bather. And how about this vase-shaped rock pool? The two-story home was built on the 70-meter high cliff at Dover Heights in 2004. Stonewall bedrooms on the ground floor are built against the rock face and terraces surround the house at different levels. You can enjoy a top floor garden and a lower level swimming pool. It contains a complex series of open concept living areas. It truly accents the utterly beautiful views of the landscape. Last but definitely not least on the list is Falling Water in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. Falling Water is a national historic landmark and was designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright as a nature retreat for the owners at the time. Sure, it's built on a mountainside like the rest of the houses on this list, but this one is built on top of a waterfall. This gorgeous abode embraces its natural elements in more ways than one. Boulders even protrude into the interior of the home. Completed at a total cost of only $155,000, who knows what this oasis is worth now. Falling Water is an icon of American architecture. In 1991, members of the American Institute of Architects named Falling Water the best all-time work of American architecture. Also hailed by Time Magazine and now listed among the Smithsonian's life list of 28 places to visit before you die. Apparently, Falling Water isn't cool with change. Wright's work that is open to the public has all its initial components, from furniture to original architecture and artwork. It's estimated that 4.5 million visitors have passed through these doors since 1964. I hope they took their shoes off. Well, these ridiculous mansions built on the side of cliffs all look like they're going to fall off their moorings and right into the ocean, but let's hope not. Then we've made this list for nothing. 
We hope you enjoy the Cliffside Tour.